This video provides a step-by-step -step guide for the following e-services. For more information on each e-service, you may refer to the video's description box for the specific timings that you could forward to. To begin following of your GSC return, you will need to log in to My Text Portal. You may do so by going to the IRS homepage at www.irs.gov.sg. Click on the Login button at the top right-hand corner of the page and click Login to My Tax Portal. Click Organization slash Business Tax Matters and SingPass to log into My Tax Portal. Ensure that you have been authorized for GSE Matters in the e-services authorization system. Enter your SingPass and password to login. You will then need to key in your one-time password sent to your mobile phone linked to your SingPass account. Enter your organization's tax reference number to proceed. If you are a sole proprietor, choose GSCN and enter your GSC registration number to proceed. To file your GSC F5 return, click on GST and click on File GSC Return or Edit Pass Return. Scroll down to find the outstanding return that you wish to file for your company. Click on eFile to start filing your GST return for the relevant accounting period. If you are unsure of what to enter into each box, you may click on the I Help button for more information. Complete all the boxes in the GSC return. Fill in the declarant and contact person information. If you are not ready to submit the GSC return, you may click on Save Draft. Check that your figures are correct and click on Submit. Click on Print to save a copy of this acknowledgement page for your records as a PDF file. Take note of the payment slash refund instructions under Important Messages. If you have made errors in your previously submitted GSC F5, you can correct the error by submitting a GSC F7 for the affected prescribed accounting period. For more information on when to submit a GSC F7 return, you can refer to the conditions here. Click on GST and click on File GST Return or Edit Errors and Pass Return to begin. Scroll down and click Submit Request to request for a GST F7. Key in the relevant accounting period for which you are requesting GST F7. Click Proceed to file the GST F7 now. The requested GST F7 will be available in My Tax Portal for 14 days. If the F7 is not filed within 14 days, it will automatically be deleted and you have to request for a new F7 if you need to correct the errors. Click eFile to file the GSC F7. Fill in the GSC F7 as if you are filing a new F5 return. The F7 will supersede the previously filed F5 for the same accounting period. The previous F5 figures will be fetched and you will need to key in the new figures for which there are errors. The difference to be paid to, or claim from IRS, will be reflected in box 10. Describe the nature of errors in this box. 
Fill in the declarant and contact person information. Submit the F7 return. Click on Print to save a copy of the acknowledgement page. To view the payment and refund matters of the company, the authorised person for GSC payment and refund matters can check the account summary of the company on My Tax Portal. Click on Account and View Account Summary. Click on View Details to view the refund status or if the company has outstanding payment to be made. Click on Download to keep a copy of your statement of account. You may retrieve notices and acknowledgement pages of past returns online. To do so, click on Notices and GST. You may view the GST letters sent by IRAS and acknowledgement pages for past returns here. If you have just filed your GST return, please note that the acknowledgement page will be available only after two working days. If you would like to view the status of all current and the returns of the past two years, you may click on GST and view GST filing status. Key in the relevant accounting period to check the status of a particular return. If you would like to check the following status of the GSC returns for the current and past two years, check the box and press Search.